Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing decimals and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Let's start with our first problem. Let's say you have $8.32 and you need to divide it evenly among 4 friends. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up like we would a traditional long division problem. 4 is our divisor. And we're going to write 832 as our dividend. We're going to drop the dollar sign. You don't need it at this point. And then the only difference is when you're dividing decimals as opposed to whole numbers is you want to make sure that the decimal is in the exact same spot in the quotient up on the division bar as it is in the dividend. So I'm going to bring, bring that decimal up and then I'm going to treat it like a normal division problem. 4 goes into 8 twice and we're going to go ahead and multiply that. Ignore the decimal because you've already done all your work that you need to with the decimal by putting it up on the division bar. You're going to bring down the 3. 4 goes into 3 0 times. So 0 times 4 is 0. And then we're going to bring down the 2 and finish this up. 4 goes into 32 8 times. Now remember, this started out as a money problem. We had $8.32. So rather than writing 2 and 8 hundredths, bring your dollar sign back in. $2.08. And just to double check, we can go ahead and multiply that inverse operation. 208 times 4, let's make sure that ends up as 832. 4 times 0 is 0, and 3 is 3, and you've got an 8. And since you had two digits behind the decimal in the factor, you've got two digits behind the decimal in your product, and that is our answer, 832. So $2.08 is what each of these students are going to get. Let's look at a new problem. Let's say that you wanted to subscribe to a magazine and the cost is $52.44 for the entire year. You want to know how much it's going to cost each month of this subscription, assuming that each month is the same. So let's set this up as another problem. We're going to use 12 as our divisor because there are 12 months in a year. And our dividend is going to be 52 and 44 hundredths. Once again, we are dropping our dollar sign. And the only thing we need to do with that decimal is to go ahead and write it up there in the quotient on the division bar up there, and then we can ignore it. So we're going to divide 12 into each of these numbers. Let's say 12 does not go into 5, but 12 is going to go into 52. Let's say it's going to go in 4 times, because I know 4 times 12 is 48. And so that is going to leave me with... Four. Once again, we're ignoring the decimal. We're just going to bring down one digit at a time. Four goes into 44 almost four times, but not quite four times. So it's going to have to be three times because four times 12 is 48, and that's too big. So it's going to be three times 12, and that is 36. And so that's going to leave us with eight. Let's bring down this four. So 12 goes into 84 seven times, and that's going to leave us with no remainder, which is good. So it looks like our answer is going to be $4.37. But once again, let's use the inverse operation. Let's double check that with multiplication to make sure we did it right. 437 times 12. And so we go 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 3 is 6. The other one is 7. And that's going to be 8. Get rid of that. And that's easy. You can just write 437 because you're multiplying by 1. If you add it up here, you see we are going to get 52.44. We have two digits behind the decimal in our factor, so two digits behind the decimal in our product. So that as you check out, it's $4.37 a month. Now it's time for you to practice. Go ahead and get out a pencil and paper and try to solve these two problems. When you have your answers, start the video back up and check your work. On this first problem, we're going to make sure our decimal gets moved up to the decimal bar. 25 is going to go into 107 four times because 4 times 25 is 100. And that is going to leave us 7 and then a 5, so 75. And 25 goes into 75 three times. So your answer is 4.3. On the second problem, 5 is going to go into 4 zero times but going to go into 46 nine times. And we've already moved our decimal up onto the decimal bar so we can ignore it. We can bring down the 2. 5 goes into 12 twice. That's 10. And then 5 goes into 25 five times. So the answer is 9 and 25 hundredths.